Hey guys, welcome back to Trend Hunter. Today I'm going to be talking to you about some DIY fashion that has been created to actually look DIY. Whereas people used to create do-it-yourself projects to kind of mimic high-end items and to actually create things that look higher end, people are now moving towards products that actually look like they made it themselves so that they're more unique, more customized, and much more personal. Coming in at number five, we have stylish sequin jacket accents. So this DIY trend is all about adding some bedazzle and sparkle to an item you already own. This project is super simple. All you're doing is adding some elbow patches with jewels or sequins of your own that you have. So the project does kind of look like you've done it yourself, but that is the entire purpose. So you can fully make something go from boring to bedazzled in a really, really easy bunch of steps. Coming in at number four, we have a DOI project from the Fancy Shop blog. So I really, really like this DIY project. I'm not sure if I would actually do it, but I think the idea is really, really cute. So the project is called Romantic Cutout Jeans, and what the project entails is cutting out a shape of a heart at the bottom of your jeans or your pants to kind of show off some skin and show off some of your sentimental side. Coming at number three, we have DIY fringe shirt accents. Essentially, all it entails is grabbing some fringe and sewing it on to a plain shirt. So it really adds personality to a basic or plain shirt very, very easy. I think it's super fun, it's going to be huge for the spring, and it just adds a bit more personality to your outfit. Coming at number two, we have no knit scars, and this is definitely appropriate for the polar vortex that is still haunting our lives. So this project is very cool. I love how easy and simple it is. There's no actual knitting involved, as the title implies. All you need is some Velcro and a bunch of your favorite color of yarn. So what ends up happening is you just create these big, chunky scarves that are kind of grouped together just by the Velcro. You can separate it, you can make different shapes. So it makes for a really bold look without having to put in too much effort, which I think is going to appeal to tons of people who are into DIY. My number one pick for blatant DIY fashion comes to us from a blog called Between the Lines, and this project is not only really easy to create, but it's also eco-friendly because you are recycling an old pair of jeans. So using an old pair of jeans and a belt, you can create very easily a really cute lunch bag or even a makeup bag or even just a carry-all bag that you take with you every day. The final product is adorable. I'm actually in the market for a new lunch bag, so this is something I might even consider making myself. If you know of any other DIY projects that are meant to look DIY, feel free to tweet them to me at Jamie Neely or leave them in the comment section below the video.